Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on the channel. So today we're going to be continuing with our 100% exploration walkthrough for Neo. This is the walkthrough where we pick up all the items and find all the Kadamis. So um, just to remind you that if you're looking for a walkthrough to maybe uh, destroy a certain boss or kill a certain enemy or looking for some cool builds or strategies, this is not the walkthrough for you. And you should definitely come back and watch this walkthrough once you have completed the mission and... Uh, maybe if you're wondering if you've missed anything. So uh, this I haven't uploaded these videos for a while now, two or three days, because I got a new setup, I got a new PC, built it myself, and had to set everything up, and the PS4 was the last thing I set up, so that's the reason. But anyway, uh, today we're going to be doing episode 11, which is the mission Memories of Death Lilies, and it's a pretty short mission, to be honest. This video is going to be quite a bit shorter than the other ones. Anyway, I'm getting a bit off track. And yeah, so the first thing we've done is came down to the left or sticking to the left pretty much all the time. And eventually we're going to come to this area with some water. There's a cave to the left with a chest if we go to the left inside that cave, this dead end at the end. And uh, yeah, there's a few items in this pond. Just be careful because if you're not on the right uh, piece of land, you are going to fall to your death. Happened a lot. So uh, continuing down here. Uh, on this uh, level, if we go under the waterfall, this is going to be our first Kadama right there. And if we continue to the right, we're going to come to this area where this is going to be a hot spring. So keep in mind this area because uh, we are actually going to turn back on ourselves now. But we are going to eventually end up here through a different path to loop back round. So yeah, you can you can continue down there if you're just interested in finishing the level because that is technically the right way. Uh, to advance to the boss but we're going to go the other way as well so if we come up this path we are going to be uh, in the same split road we was at the start of the video but last time we went up left this time we're going to go down right and stick to the right uh, over here we can jump off to our right and just down here is going to be our second Kadama on this ledge we can only get to this ledge by jumping off above it uh, around here is going to be a big yokai be careful of him and there's going to be a shrine right there so um, you could just hop down, but we're going to get this item that's on the roof first. So I believe that's a earth amulet. And yeah, you can drop down wherever you want really. I'm just going to drop down over here where we picked up the Kadama, just so you don't get confused where we are. And yeah, around here, there's going to be some, well it's, it's not even items, it's just uh, some Amrita there on those uh, lilies. And in this building, uh, un unlike in the beta, that's not a mimic, it's just going to be... Uh, some armor and yeah nothing more in here so over here to our left near the broken bridge there's going to be another corpse this time it's got some salt on it and yeah so the only thing we can do at the moment is uh, just hop off the bridge if we take a right it's going to lead us to a dead end but there is going to be a corpse here with uh, a travel amulet and a kasari garment on it so we are back in the same river as before so if we continue up the river we are in fact going to be at the same place we was before with the hot springs with the kadama we picked up before so yes yeah, so we don't want to do that we want to actually take a right uh from the river if we go up the hill we're going to come to a corpse in a dead end with some sacred water on it but we are going to go downstream uh sticking to the left side mountain if we go to the right, right near the broken bridge that we hopped off the other side, there's going to be some yokai incense. And yeah, uh, before we hop into that building, we're going to come and stick to the right one more time. It's going to be a fork. If we stick to the left and go up the hill, there's going to be a, another kadama. I believe this is our third kadama, but we get most of the kadamas right here at the end of the video. Uh, they're pretty close together. There's also a uh, yokai water pot there in that dead end. If we take the right hand side of the fork, we can come up here and uh, knock this tree down to have a bit of a shortcut back to the other side of the broken bridge or if we die we end up that shrine so we can just run straight across so uh, in this building uh, watch out for the two umbrella type yokais in here there's going to be a small chest there and outside there's going to be some amrita to add or item added to amrita memories right there and behind this building there's going to be a, another kadama so continuing the only path left to take, which is to advance, there's going to be a corpse there to the left, and we're going to come to this biggish kind of door. So go ahead and open that, and we're going to be in a new area. So the boss is to the left through that big door. We can't open that quite yet. Uh, this uh, 
well if you hit it the bucket will come up and give you an item i accidentally done that by rolling into it before in this uh temple over here there's going to be a corpse with a spear there's also going to be a double door in there that requires a key that will be uh opening with the same key that allows us to access the boss which we'll be picking up in a second so uh over here continue down the hill there's an item to the right and an item to the left once you get to the shrine area there's going to be a corpse behind the shrine so don't miss that sacred water over here there's going to be another one plain sight so if we stick to the right we're going to find another temple with a a new kind of yokai defending it see so you gotta be careful these guys are pretty tough and uh, yeah inside there's uh two biggest chests with a spirit stone some some leg armor pretty good axe and yeah before you go down or back to the shrine you want to turn around and go around the building to find a another kadama i think there's two kadamas left now so yeah so now we're going to head towards the shrine and before we get there we want to head to the right because there's the only path uh that we have uh the option to take up here there's going to be a small little temple shrine thingy and a bigger one there's two items there watch out for the yokai defending them and uh if we continue up the hill there then we're going to get to a dead end with a corpse and to the left there's going to be another yokai and uh, in this watchtower there's going to be another enemy guarding the temple key so there's the temple key that we need to fight the boss and open that other door that we seen a bit earlier on so if you hop off the tower there's going to be our penultimate kadama and now really all we've got left is to continue up the hill and go back to the area where the boss door is and all that in this temple that we came in before for the spear there's going to be the locked door that i mentioned now we can open it with the temple key and uh, open this chest with some epic loot in there and a another pretty good spear and yeah now we've, all we've got left to do is use that same key to open the big door to the left and uh, before heading to the boss there's going to be our final Gadama to the right of the door as soon as you go in and there's going to be a, another corpse with some items on it in plain sight or we just here it could just be on some amrita actually yeah so yeah guys if i did happen to forget something please let me know in the comments guys hopefully this was helpful if it was please go like and subscribe remember you can follow me on twitter and we'll see you next time guys